Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast. Why do you always laugh? Because you say you're going to start in three minutes and it's really like three minutes, five seconds. Yeah. I was laughing because we were all laughing prior and then I was like, start it while we're laughing. And then I was laughing because I shouldn't have been laughing. It's one of the rules of nature where you laugh harder when you shouldn't be laughing. I Correct. guess. Yeah. Still. Well, on the docket today, all we have to talk about really is uh, I'm going to Japan in two days. Japan. Mm-hmm. You're vlogging it. I'm going to try. I just got my vlogging kit today. I got a GoPro, <laughs> got a GoPro <laughs> selfie stick. Is that even oh, considered God. a vlog camera? I don't, I don't know. You, what just it, want, you just wanted a GoPro. What is it considered works. a vlog camera, though? That's the real question. Uh, I, well, I was originally just going to get a selfie stick and just put my phone on it and just walk around <laughs> with that. But then I was like, if I, I wanted to stream as well at the event. So I was like, if I stream, I can't talk to chat because my phone's over there. Yeah. True. So, it just swipes it. Well, so apparently the GoPros can stream. Huh? Wow. I don't know that. It, all you got to do is just like tether your internet from your phone and it can stream to like Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, all those websites. Really? So I was like, sure. Yeah, the that's... future is here. I didn't know that. So yeah. that must be what Ice Poseidon and all of them do. No, they have like actual. They have like professional stuff. Not professional, Yeah, I'll just but... sit here then. There's um, <laughs> yeah. there's actually. Like... Mike Holmes comes in and sets it all up for them. <laughs> it's something called like a video encoder. It's basically like the size of a laptop but a little thicker and it's just a pc it sits in your backpack and it does everything for you and then you connect whatever camera you want and it just streams it that's very much next level mm-hmm. and then i know Portable some of the PCs. some of the IRL people would have like a backpack with like modems in it like three or four that connect to satellite connections and then that's I how see, they do all their uploading i see a few that issues is so hardcore walking around with a backpack with wires coming out of it and you're just constantly like, adjusting it you, you probably look like a like, doc ock yeah like, or, the, or just like <laughs> sure if that's what he was going for or but. some with bad intentions we'll put it that way but i don't uh, know uh, <laughs> i guess we'll find out I also, yeah, I didn't want to look like a tool, so I just went with the most minimal setup. Selfie stick's still going to make me look like a tool, but... Yeah, selfie stick. Uh, but yeah, but you're in Japan. Yeah, you'll, you'll yeah. Just yeah. Fit in. Everyone has a selfie stick. Well, what I'm going to try to do while I'm there is... Um, so on top of like the live streaming with the GoPro, I'm also going to try to vlog a few things. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to vlog the event. And also, since you said that rock climbing is big in Japan, I'm going to try to go there. I'm going to f- try to find a gym. Like The first part of the event's in Tokonami, and then we're in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. I know there's a lot of gyms in Tokyo, but Tokonami, I still haven't been able to find one. People are so good at rock climbing in Japan. I'm They're pretty... actually nuts. I but keep... I want to go and like take I... all the Siege YouTubers with me and like record them trying to climb. Yeah. Again, I was, funny. I was telling them that like literally the top people are all yeah. From I keep Japan. I keep getting mm-hmm. YouTube recommended um, bouldering world championships. Yeah, all the and comps, stuff. it's just like the three J- Japanese people it's, win it every time. It's like one white chick that keeps winning, and then everyone else is just <laughs> Japanese. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what they say: it's no, crazy. Matter how, no matter how long you train and practice something, there's always going to be someone who's Chinese that's better than it at you. Like in the Olympics, <laughs> we're uh, we're talking about people in uh, Japan, but uh, same okay. or different, oh, different, wow, different, wow. different. Oh, different. Oh, <laughs> we oh baited them. In, we did it. <laughs> We did it. You guys fucking baited me. I should have seen the smiles on your guys' faces. <laughs> we didn't even we did bait it. you. We literally just were just talking about competition. <laughs> so, oh, well, you know what they say. Oh, we did it. We did it. Oh, well, goodness. That's my math teacher told me. <laughs> what? Oh, Am I even kidding? Which one? Mr. The, the Mr. religious starts one? starts with a B. Oh. And I remember really? thinking to myself, Mr. like. Mr. Bigot? Yeah, I guess, I guess I could, that would work also. But <laughs> Rob, I remember thinking to myself. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Math teachers know I just remember all of us like looking around being like, because there's like exchange students in your class, right? And he's just st- saying that. And he kind of made it as a joke like like that, right? And everyone's kind of looking around being like, huh. this is, yeah, just being like, <laughs> should we should be a laugh it? or like, I don't just really the know. nervous though. <laughs> yeah, literally. But yeah, I, I had kind of a similar deal. My math teacher was a Habs fan. Oh yeah, yeah what does that really mean? similar. Yeah, <laughs> that fan they get the Habs fan. Canadians. I mean, <laughs> we're at the same alley. Am, yeah. am I the only one that I don't understand? Habs, Habs are Montreal, Montreal Canadians. Canadians. It's a hockey team. So okay. if you're a Leafs fan, yeah, you should have made him you... guess what sport. No, you should know that. Oh wait, <laughs> would, I hope. Would you, would you have <laughs> known Montreal Canadians if he didn't tell you? I know, yeah, what they are. I, I don't. Say, I hope so. But we've done NFL. How many NHL teams do you know? Or we should we should mention them by their nicknames and see if you. So I know the Leafs. The Canadians, the Senators, uh, Bruins. Yeah, Senators are from where? Uh, Ottawa. Bruins yeah. are from Boston. My oh, man. Um, he only knows those ones because he just roasts me when they lose. Those, know, specific, <laughs> those like specific teams when the Leafs lose. He's like, hey, by the way, did you see that game? Edmonton Oilers. Yeah, you yeah. got it. Oh, I've got an Oilers basketball shirt. That's for a second. What about Winnipeg? Basketball. Um, well, what, weren't they the Jets, and then they sold it to another team or city in the U.S. and then yeah, bought now it back? they're the Atlanta. 
No, they're back to the Jets. Falcons? Well, they went to the... No, Thrashers. They were they were the Jets, then they became the Thrashers, and the Thrashers shit the bed. Now they're the Jets again. And then the right? Jets bought them back, yeah. I think you're right, they're yeah. In yeah. Back, yeah. They're the Winnipeg Jets. Okay. So. <laughs> and then uh, um, Tampa Bay has one. Yeah, Tampa what Bay. Saskatchewan has their own hockey team, man. Tampa Bay what? Jaguars? No. no you're that's, sort of that's right. That's Jacksonville. There's the Jacksonville oh. Jaguars in football. It's football. I'm so what, thinking just start making Bay? shit up and see if he falls for it. Lightning. I would never guess no. that. <laughs> what about Florida? This is Panthers. Probably, yeah, that's probably yeah. what you're thinking. Um, name some other cities. I, I think I know the names. Minnesota. Vikings. All, all he's thinking is Vikings. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Oh, wait. Uh, wild. Yeah. Whoa. There you go. Okay. It's we're going to go the other way. This is too easy. I'm trying to think of the shittiest teams. What, Las uh, Vegas. Hurricanes. Las Vegas Golden Knights. A- Arizona. Easy. Easy win, guys. Let's go. <laughs> he's only, yeah, I don't think we'll get this one. I want to say Cardinals, but I'm pretty sure that's baseball. Yeah, it is. That's actually pretty good. Wait, oh, this guy's baseball? been sport watching. I've been slowly Astros. Grading. That's no, baseball. That's, baseball. No, that's, also. that's Houston. I don't know. Oh yeah, you're, Arizona yeah. Yotes, the Coyotes. I forgot for a sec, man. Holy I fuck, Coyotes. Yeah, yeah. you would never. Got no, that. who, who did the Hurricanes heard. belong to? Uh, the Caribbean Sea, usually. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, dude? Come <laughs> on, that's insensitive, five? bro. <laughs> that's so insensitive. What? Yeah, what what that that mean? Mean? You of all people. <laughs> Rewind five minutes. Bro, I'm the, I'm Rewind most, to two weeks ago. Yeah. I'm the most sensitive and one person weeks. out there, bro. That's literally his Tinder bio. <laughs> <laughs> I should make it that and see how I see how that plays, but you still on that Tinder grind? Uh yeah and no, actually. Oh. So Ooh. nothing serious yet. You know, Ooh. I've been uh I've hung out with the same girl more than once. Can't wait to meet her. Whoa. So you, should, you might as well introduce her to your parents. Oh, she's no. got, Is he's she got the ring in his back pocket. I don't know yet. Guess we'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> okay, good. That's, That's how every determined. single one of Rob's relationships have started. Yeah, not sure. We'll see. <laughs> I gotta, I'm gonna Give it a week. St- I'm going to slow it down this time. Try and actually get a good feel for what's under, like, <laughs> a my good feel. Oh, <laughs> Hands are in the groping myself. position. <laughs> I'll try and get to know her name this time. Oh, my but goodness. yeah, usually it's like it goes well for a month and everything just kind of goes to shit. So we'll see if this uh, goes any differently. Give me a give me a bank account update oh yeah all right let me think i'm trying to think i bought some pre-workout yesterday mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i think bought, i'm at like some cod dlc <laughs> no not yet i want to say i'm at like 50 bucks 50 Ooh, 60 bucks that's, right. Right. that's okay. enough to go climbing you know what i learned today rob said he'd be willing to take a job like under my company or whatever as a full-time content creator and he said his salary would be like 22k okay, but and i was just like sure but like as, soon as, I that oh, was like, no. as soon as i said that he was like really and i was like wait no i need to, I need to negotiate a higher number lock him, lock him into a contract right now <laughs> rob blows up <laughs> he's only paying me twenty five thousand dollars. you could be the next tfue i'm just gonna say oh, how'd tifu. you just get a three thousand dollar raise yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I'll, I'll just keep doing that i'll keep bumping it up in discussion you know we'll get to a point where it's like eighty thousand ninety thousand Person, we'll you gotta hide your excitement. You can't just be like, "Really? <laughs> <laughs> Done." That I was, mean, when someone says, "I'll work for you for ten dollars an was hour," you gotta, you gotta jump on it. No, man, you you send them overseas and you just like quietly what <laughs> outsource? <laughs> yeah, you outsource Rob. <laughs> How would it's, that even work? I guess I'm yeah, doing instead the, of I'm hiring people thing. from like China or India, I'm gonna send Rob to China or India <laughs> to work there. It'll immediately cut his salary in half. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> It was the offensive yeah. podcast. Yeah, we're three for three. Yeah. <laughs> we should just take off as many different people and groups that we can annoy as possible. Actually, no, let's play about it. What would Hannah get pissed <laughs> off at? And uh, uh, I heard Rob um, doesn't like horses. The past 15 Ooh. minutes. Yeah, horses, horse, horses are smelly, man. Oh, I don't actually don't trust, Whoa, horses, I don't trust horses. I don't trust horses. Oh, there okay, it is. Right. Did I, did I, <laughs> let's hear this. Did I tell you, I have I told you guys the story about when I was a kid and like a horse almost killed me? <laughs> I Bro, wish- it's like some sh- some just some kid like smacking a horse on the butt like <laughs> I, like tries to kick him you go what the heck so man? me and my cousin wait, wait, wait. first i want to stress i really wish we had the audio or the video for this just because of rob's face when he said i don't trust horses and eyes got <laughs> super <laughs> wide they're they're wait, sporadic, what are we man up? they're fucked i don't know when i get back from japan maybe true Continue. We're, we should have a camera like zoomed in all in our faces, so, <laughs> n- like not like a, a pan of the room, just like right in front of our faces, all of us. Um, but no, my so my so, so for context, my uncle owns a racehorse because that's what old people do, I guess. Sure, okay. and he keeps it on a barn. And my cousin on and the I, barn. yeah, no, <laughs> no, he keeps it in his bed. But when it's raining, <laughs> he. Uh, so my cousin and I went to went to visit it when we were both like kids. 
Yes. And, and we thought it was funny because the horse was like kept like shitting and farting, right? And we were like, ha ha ha. So we kept like, I don't know, kind of like pointing at it and yelling at it and stuff. Poking at it. No, we, we didn't poke it. Okay. And then it kept like kind of circling around us. And then we do that thing where it would like run to the gate and then stop. You know what I mean? Kind of like scaring us. <laughs> oh, oh my no. god. So like, so we kept staying there. And then I this is this completely happened. It ran and it jumped <laughs> over the gate. So it's like around me and my cousin. My cousin and I run like this like bush and we're like we literally get like burrow ourselves into the middle of this bush because we were too scared of the horse can like run after us. I was bawling my eyes out, bro. I was like by 14 at the time. I literally thought I was gonna die, bro, when this horse came at me. Oh, I'm not even kidding. It, it was like jumping around and shit. So we're like we're hiding in the middle of this like bush, getting like chopped up by like thorns and shit. Chopped up. And then my uncle runs out. It's like, like he he manages to get the horse like by the thing. It's like jumping around and stuff. Literally, I didn't go back to that barn like ever. I still so, haven't gone back. What I've learned is that you instigated it and then <laughs> yeah, we're you sad. You stressed the horse out. And then I, just either like... way, a horse jumped over a gate trying to kill me, bro. <laughs> you're the, you're the type of person that goes to a bar and starts like pushing a guy and then I freaks out when he that, punches man. you and you're just like, whoa, whoa. I would never do that. I'm a whoa, lover, dude, not a fighter. What the heck? Either way, this you horse make it up to him on the floor instead of I'd well, shake his hand. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, but ever since then, horses are just too wild for me, man. Whenever I see them, I just kind of get, like, freaked out. If you ever want to piss off Hannah, just talk about how horses will kill people. And she'll just talk <laughs> how about horses, how it's such bullshit. How they're not yeah, gentle beasts. They're worse than sharks. I sent her literally a video of, like, a horse running at one of those things they jump. And the horse just stopped and the person kept going and flew <laughs> over the thing. And then she's like, actually, this was the person's fault because they didn't do this, this. And I'm like, I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I would... How many deaths by horse are there per year in North America? That, that's enough. something we need <laughs> Actually, to know right now. It might be more. If it is, you have to check if it's more than sharks. Yeah, because I know that vending sharks machines. Like five. Vending machines kill really? more people than sharks. Vending machines? How? Vending machines. They fall on you or yeah. something? Yeah, people mm-hmm. try and get it and it just falls on them and kills them. Imagine dying. Is, are we that. saying worldwide or? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, well, yeah, North America worldwide. But he has the Chrome debug tool open, eh? Just a subtle flex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> F11, F12, whatever it is. Um, in terms of actual riders, I saw 59 here. Oh, wow. we, just, we just need a number to take and run with. Per year? Yeah. It says, identified 59 confirmed rider deaths between 1993. Oh, and 2015. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, so, so 2.68 deaths per year. All right. Yeah. Still, that's, that's, that's like 2.68 too many, man. That's on the high side. Must really suck for that person who's like that 0.68. 68 percent dead yeah he's, yeah he's like dead from the nipples down he's like anakin skywalker now <laughs> dead from the nipples down. he's like that old lady in spongebob paralysis. yeah you know that little that spongebob chocolate. yeah chocolate it's like that like stick i saw someone cosplay that actually it was pretty funny cosplay the fish no yeah. like the dead or dead I the like, like old a, lady in the on, wheelchair online yeah it was somewhere. perfect wait it worked what? out nice like the uh you know the spongebob episode where it's like the chocolate oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and then it's like the end of the episode and it's like the old like crotchety literally yeah. yeah someone like literally made the perfect costume yeah it was nice it's actually. amazing yeah it was did you guys see any cool halloween costumes on social media well, david dobrik dressed up as tony stark i didn't see that. <laughs> that's actually perfect though yeah but like mm-hmm. he he put the glowing thing in his chest and then dressed up in a suit so like he wasn't iron man but he was just like tony stark uh-huh. Like he put costume. it in his chest. Yeah, like yeah. He, he got, he got surgery. Oh Man. my god! He went straight LA and got surgery. There the the That's only a, immersion. In, the only interesting um, Halloween thing that I saw, which I sent to Drew, and I can't show because it's pretty TOS violating. Maybe I don't know. It's weird. But it's a a girl with like huge tits and a Danny DeVito realistic mask on. So she's just walking around and it just looks like Danny DeVito with huge tits. <laughs> That'd be the strangest boner ever, bro. <laughs> it's true. It was a little confusing. True. That's basically all I saw. It was something else. If I ever had a costume that involved like a ton of like little kids, I'd be like Gru what? and the minions. You know what I mean? How do we get here? <laughs> I'm really glad it took that turn. No, it's just like if I was like a teacher or something. I just just an idea. <laughs> just like an idea I've had. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I saw it the other day, and it's like, how funny would it be if you just ran around with like fifty kids all dressed as minions? Okay. Oh no! What do you guys mean? No, no. I, I get what you mean, but the way you started that whole thing was just yeah, yeah, If I had yeah. a bunch of little kids, Big bad I'm such a pedophile, bro. Lock me up. Throwback to episode zero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, which which part of episode zero? The pedophile the part. part. Oh, the mustache yeah. part. 
I don't mean I don't, I don't fit that. Oh, speaking of that, I'm gonna let all this go during the entire really? month of November. I was talking to Shane about this. I think I'm going straight. We musty. have game plans. I'm just gonna let everything go and see how fucked it gets. Bree won't, Bree won't let me do the the neck. I'm gonna go I, I gotta go straight mustache. With the stash and then right before I go on holidays, um, shave the stash. Dude, just the stash like by itself is like the look right now. But at the same time, I kind of just want to see like if I can get anything going here. I would love to get like a on giant beard. Yeah, I I'm started. A- I'm gonna pull the Let's Austin see. Matthews. Do you mean like yep. that you normally can't grow there and you're just trying to let it grow out? <laughs> yeah, or, like okay. I, I've never gotten hair here and I have so far. So maybe this is a start of something big. You never know. Yeah, I don't get Started. cheek hair either. Like the highest I'll get is like normally like right I'm around my jaw. Too, but it's just all right. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Shane's mean just saying you're stroking all of his facial hair. Yeah. So we'll talk about how we can't grow it. Classic. <laughs> Your beard always kills me. It's, it's just, perfect. It's the perfect beard. And then With you got the like tattoos. the two like beard button chops <laughs> that you just refuse to shave off because it looks fine. I'm too lazy. Yeah. He has the drag that to go into like, the, the spots yeah, right, here. Yeah. A bunch of my buddies have that. Yeah, I wish this this is like just shy of connecting. I wish it was connecting so I could do the handlebars. Do the giant handlebars? Fuck. You could do Shane, you should do handlebars. So, I could, I think. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Drew, you struggle with growing facial hair, right? I mean, Overall? like, not as much. It, I'm, I struggle with growing good-looking facial hair. Okay, <laughs> fair. <laughs> it's but, like, all it in my neck, and it, like, creeps up to the okay, side of my so face. so it doesn't all full grow up. What like about dr- the rest of your body? Because I just noticed, like, your legs... I am so hairy. Okay, I wasn't sure if it's just because Are you're you so white that no. your hair's, yeah. like... Scottish I, and Irish. I feel uh, like you should try to grow, like, one of those nasty chin straps. Oh, gross. And I, just, I, like, I, make a line. Like, and just it would and be, shave, shave I think your it face. Would, you could do it. It would be disgusting. Bree won't let me. I tried. That's fair. Shave your face and just leave a line like underneath your chin. Oh, yeah, so really, fucked. On, on, the, on October 31st, I sent her a text. What can I do in November where I still have a girlfriend at the end of it? And she's like, let me sleep on it. <laughs> she's like, what? she's still sleeping. <laughs> she's she like, never, what, about shaving or just like she, general yeah. activities? She never responded. So I brought it up again. And she's just like, I was really hoping you would have dropped it. <laughs> so she's like, you can do a mustache. I'm like, all right, hey, it's let's go. Every girl I've ever met has told me to shave it. Do you want what I say? Just because of that, I'm not shaving it. Do you want to see mine from wow, two years him. ago, Rob? Got him. Yeah. Do you want to right, hear some him. more feedback? Is it gonna? Is it a? Is it a pick me up or a put me down? <laughs> uh, it's like it's not a like huge put down, but it's just a little comment. Okay. okay. The number one comment I've heard is that the reason why your mustache looks creepy is because it's you creepy. shave the middle part. I don't shave the middle part. No, no. It just doesn't grow. It just there. doesn't grow there. Oh, same yeah. with me. I'm cursed. Then that's a little depressing. Well, it's, yeah, because it's, it's, it looks like a reverse Hitler. Rob, I know. Rob I get that all the time. When Rob posts on Instagram. That like he's like, hey, look at my new haircut. I wanted to be like, wow, did the barber like slip up and get between your lips? There? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny too. My grad picture, I post like my graduation photo. I thought it was a good picture, and every comment's like, your mustache looks like it shit. looks like You're there's a pedophile. Like, for some and I was reason, like, holy fuck. On that picture, it looks like it's like it looks like you like combed it to the side, yeah. and then there's like an inch in between. I know. Like, I should normally just, like, it doesn't look that bad. I should just like just for men. The middle part or here. just shave it off black sharp <laughs> yeah. I, I think you would actually look pretty good with like a beard just without the mustache well if i if i can get a beard then i would do that but he can't yeah maybe one day my dream is to have just like what shane has like all like everything well so i've heard about something recently i don't know if it really works but oh, you God. could try it i heard is that if you shave off some hair from a guy who can grow facial hair and, and put and rub it into fuck? your face and then apply some like lotion it might work so you could try shaving. i was hair. always just told is if you just keep shaving yeah you'll eventually get it's 100 percent bullshit <laughs> I, I would i can't wait for the cameras to come in here because next time uh it's two years ago oh my god ne- Drew actually looks next like time a pedophile. christian makes fun of my <laughs> mustache we can I- we can uh, resort to fisticuffs on camera I'll see if I can remember to include Jeez. that in the video if you send it to me, but <laughs> I also don't want to scare people. So yeah, it's up that there. was two years ago. So in theory, it should be better this year. I'm glad. I'm glad none of us those people that like, hey, look at this picture. Take their phone. So it's going to the person's camera roll just for fun. <laughs> I hate when people do that. It's I've, like, dude, I have I shit in I've there. I've never met anyone that actually Do you really? Done that. A ton of people have done I've that. I've never met anyone that it's done that. i've only done it once and it was when i looked at rob's I've phone and then i once. saw the nudes i was like nah i'm good <laughs> it's just shirtless pics. male nudes not female he nudes. takes yeah. like 30 shirtless pics and he's like okay i gotta I actually put do. two up on instagram a month so he's it takes him I a month the, to figure out I, I take a bunch on a good day and then just kind of like roll them mm-hmm. out as the month progresses that's actually how he got that discount on that powder from a while ago is so the lady's just like as long as you keep posting two shirtless photos a month all oh, yeah. the discount for a sec i was thinking to myself like, what discount <laughs> where did i where did i save money this is important to know but <laughs> I, see this is why rob's finances are fucked he doesn't remember literally yeah once i get well the thing is it's like once, once i have the money's gone it's gone <laughs> when i have a job i actually care about it a lot 
But then when I don't have a job, it's like, oh, do I have enough money to survive for the let's, next week? Uh, let's cue back to podcast five where uh, you had a job for a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you think people... And his caring nature <laughs> <laughs> carried him through the job. <laughs> do you think people who were listening to, through the podcast and got to like episode five, they're like, oh, this is a turning point for Rob. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> happy for the next episode. They're we're like, back. it's all back. <laughs> yeah, we're back. I didn't go to work today. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't even go in. That was amazing. <laughs> well, fuck that, man. That place would have fucking sucked the life out of me. Hey, I got a job for you. What Pays twenty two k a year. Twenty two k a year. <laughs> that's the offer. At this right? point, 22, ten bucks an hour. Twenty two k a month for the rest of the year. That's that's oh under yeah, twenty two k a year. We're technically still in the same. <laughs> <Fuck. year. laughs> we got him. And we're going by fiscal year, not by. Uh, <laughs> this guy's all of a sudden oh. making eleven k per month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I wanted to ask people. You guys, hate him. He makes eleven k a month at home. <laughs> and then they put the grad photo <laughs> up. <laughs> uh, I want to ask uh, Shandrew a question. So I told this to Rob today, and he mocked me for saying it. But Classic. I was just like, "Oh, you could go to Japan too with me. It's only six hundred dollars." to go like round only trip six hundred dollars and that's exactly what he said it's actually only 600 bucks thank that's, you well, that's, no yeah. that's really cheap for a flight yeah but what do you mean like but, to go there and back from japan from yeah tokyo to toronto or from toronto to tokyo round trip the shittiest thing is is i really? remember when you were like mm-hmm. first like i'm gonna go to japan i was like when right when you go on a holiday it's like i fucking hate like it's you. not 1200 <laughs> it's 600 yeah. there and back well, it's like, over now. It was like a limited, like five day deal, and it was for any I think time I in November. I saw that actually. Yeah. And so I said that to Rob, and he's just like, "Oh, only six hundred. Wow, we we're well, six hundred like, fucking clean me out till the next year." But uh, like <laughs> okay, talking to normal people, though, yeah. uh, normal I'm happy people. that I'm okay, justified. Okay, this is going. <laughs> okay, sorry, employed people. <laughs> employed, employed there you people. Go. But that's fair. I don't think that's, that's not crazy at all. Okay. That no, that's a really good deal. That's Anything out of Canada than... for under six hundred round trip is like a phenomenal price. I think we paid more than that for San Diego. Oh, I was like five fifty. What like tier? Okay, of... well, I paid more than that because I booked it late. You, oh what, yeah, you're right. You what tier yours, of you fucked up of, of seat is it though for six hundred? You're like on the wing. Yeah. Like on like, like you're physically <laughs> sitting. Rob's <laughs> face like wait what? <laughs> oh, like Chris holding on for two. They hours. have yeah. belts. They give you a helmet, and you're just. <laughs> That'd be a thrill. I'll do that for six hundred bucks. You die. <laughs> you would literally die. You haven't. You haven't met me, man. <laughs> He's actually been training for years, living under very low air pressure. I've been thickening my skin. You know, man, a bird would techniques. take your head off. <laughs> a normal person's head, maybe. I saw a video that's so random. Like, yes, forgot you're small. About a, a bird hitting like a plane, and they they were like they had the camera looking out the front, and it's just like it's like three clips. It's like one, it's here, two, it's here, and then just shattered. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, just shredded. And that one shredded. bird can actually like ground a plane if oh, it yeah. gets in the engine or anything. Yeah. If they go through like a flock of geese, which has happened many times, they'll rip the plane. That'd be a good military tactic. <laughs> Unleash the birds. <laughs> <laughs> you just getting invaded, just throw a bunch of doves. <laughs> middle, middle of like a dog fight, they're like, we got a bird on our six. <laughs> like, like an actual <laughs> bird. Like an actual bird. <laughs> a seagull. Just tape fries to their other fucking team's <laughs> airplanes. <laughs> The <laughs> other, I like how you say the other team. Like war is yeah, like a call game, of duty. Man. There's no such thing. Yeah, as take it to the blue team's planes. <laughs> <laughs> just throw a fry up at them. That'd be it's so okay, funny. man. They'll respawn. <laughs> yeah, if you die in real life, you just respawn, man. <laughs> but you got to start over. It kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. Unlucky. It life. depends. I guess if you're a Buddhist, you would. That's sort of how it works, right? Or a phoenix. A phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> or Dumbledore. Yeah, but phoenixes is, is get the rise from the ashes. No, but, but Buddhism is like when you die, you get brought back as like something else, right? Reincar- oh, I think that's, reincarnation. Yeah, like is that a- Buddhism or is that Hinduism? Both, I think. <laughs> I took a world religion class in grade ten. I'm pretty sure Buddhism is like you reach Nirvana. <laughs> is that the Nirvana? Enlightenment? <laughs> Nirvana? <laughs> enlightenment? Yeah. And you like then it all started with the one guy under the tree, right? Yeah. <laughs> Adam and Eve. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. With they the, all connect. With the snake and the apple, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the apple, Tim Cook. Einstein. There. Spot the kids Isaac that went Newton. to public school. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to public school? You did, right? I went to your fucking school. <laughs> no, before that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wait, wait. how did you end up at a, at a Catholic high school? I went to a Catholic elementary school. <laughs> how would you end up there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you were just just designated to go there. My parents weren't really religious, but they just sent me. I think they. Well, okay, oh, so that's kind of weird. In in that's that's what I'm saying. That's in the, South that's America, it, yeah. it, uh, all the private schools are Catholic schools. 
So I oh. think they were like, oh, Catholic means better education. So they sent me there. Gotcha. Fair. I should ask them. I don't know for sure. I know yeah, like it's backwards here in North America. I've, t- <laughs> I've talked to some parents and they're like, they think Catholic schools are like, quote unquote, safer. That's also the other thing is yeah. a lot of people were like, um, well, when they moved here, I had a cousin who went to like WCI or KCI or something, mm-hmm. which sketchy. is like some like sketchy school. W- well. And then um, they were like, oh, that's a public school. And they're like, we're not sending kids to public school anymore. <laughs> well, even comparing Drew and I's high schools, like everyone at my school thought your school was like a place for like delinquents. And like Dude, the- everyone at my school knew your school was a place for delinquents. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like everyone's like from, oh, if you go to Drew's school, you get in fights all the time and do all these crazy drugs and shit. That's what like everyone said. Then and look this- at Drew now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then it's like our school was probably worse for that. Then the school I went to was just Rob, money everywhere. Rob's school was, <laughs> we literally called Rob's school an acronym for sexually transmitted diseases. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's just an unfortunate, uh, the actual name of the school. <laughs> also, I want to, this reminds me, before I forget, what was your guys' craziest like school story of seeing something happening at school? Probably that one day when the guys, remember they had the air, so- right? You think you had left by then. I know. I, I, I was there. I talked about that on stream. Yeah. A group but- of guys, like they went, they had an airsoft gun and they were driving around like on wearing our school's uniform, pointing the airsoft gun at people out of the side of, the, of a car. I remember and hearing they were shoot- that work. Yeah. They were shooting at houses as well. Yeah. So then oh, I got, I, I had third period gym. Yeah, my I think. school was sketchy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the weight room of our school looking down through the window and like the van is surrounded by like six or seven cop cars, so all have the doors open, like big ass guns pointed. Yeah, at they, them. like they called the SWAT team. There was like fair enough. I had never seen the guns like that in real life, like giant, like shotguns mm-hmm. and M16s and Play shit. stupid games, win stupid prizes. They had, literally, mm-hmm. and then like four people on the football and then field. Four guns. people walk out of the thing with their hands behind their head. The cops are jerking them around, like they think that's an actual like yeah, for gun. Sure. That's crazy. And it was one of my good buddies too, and he told me he's like, man, I thought they were gonna fucking shoot me. He's like, I've never had, obviously, never had a gun pointed at you. Like, Wait, so you were actually friends with him? Everyone who like I was good. For, I, I'm still good friends with two of the people who did it. Okay, can you tell me what the fuck they were thinking then? They weren't. Yeah, what you said. And really? two of them were under the influence. If you know what ah. I mean. Um, I mean, like it still I still doesn't make it better. But no, I'm so I'm saying like yeah. it was a stupid, stupid call made by stupid people. One I, of the I, guys I know was just kind of happened to be in the car, and it was unfortunate for him. That yeah. response is hilarious. That they never had a gun pointed at them when <laughs> literally everyone they were pointing airsoft guns, guns that, that probably thought yeah. holy crap well this room, is the first time i've had a gun pointed at the me. story is there was like 29 one one calls saying people were like brandishing firearms i i don't doubt it i, and, I don't doubt it whatsoever oh yeah but <laughs> i was um, gonna say i have a different story what's yours? slightly um i i would say that was probably the craziest that one. was a craze in terms of like shit like holy fuck yeah but that was wild but probably the craziest that i got to see personally was um there was like a couple of food places close to our school and I went out for pizza one day. I'm getting my pizza and then the delivery driver for the pizza place is trying to pull in and all the students are there. So there's no room. And then people are just like slowly moving out of the way. And uh, <laughs> one student's just like kind of refusing to move. He's just like, fuck you. Like I'm standing here. But and then the guy gets out of the car and starts like trying to fight him. The student's probably like 15. The guy's like 40. Oh, and shit. then all the other students start turning and like their attention to it. And then one guy I'm sitting inside the pizza place eating and the guy next to me pulls off his backpack, opens it and pulls out a fucking like metal iron or lead pipe and then starts (laughs) walking out. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And then I look down the street and I see the vice principal like sprinting across the street. Like it's a red light, but he's just fucking going for it, trying to get to the pizza place. Was that before or after I got there? I I I was like in grade eight nine or ten i was gonna so. say i remember hearing a story about like i thought uh, the story i heard was the delivery driver ran the kid over like almost ran him over first maybe no, that was not embellished by someone who was there it wasn't even like the guy was literally just like honking the kids just Holy like fuck, fuck you i'm not moving a lead pipe I'm gonna say, yo, yo, i got a lead pipe in my backpack let me just run out there and deal with this real quick yeah that's fucked up <laughs> do you guys have any my, crazy? my the only like crazy thing that happened to me was my first day of grade nine and you know how it's always a half day so yeah. they want to like have you adjust their like ease into high school and I'm walking home with my buddy who I'd known forever. And then some, like, there were new friends to me. Well, not friends, but. Um, <laughs> no but, new friends. But my, but my buddy knew them. And we're walking along the street with this one guy. And all of a sudden, he sees this other guy walking the other way. And they just run at each other and start beating the crap out of each other. <laughs> and we're like, 
it's amazing yeah. what is happening hands here? on site <laughs> the one just beats the shit out of the other yeah. guy was it your friend no, no 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 like these were two guys that i didn't know until like this oh, moment gotcha. for some reason after the fight we still continued walking with one of the participants and all of a sudden this like sketchy white van pulls up and the guy who got in the fight ran up to it. He's like, mom, mom, I just beat a kid up. And I'm, I'm like, first of all, wh- what? <laughs> like, why is your mom here in this creeper van? And two, why are you like bragging to her about beating some her kid mom, up? Like, mom gets so good job, son. Where is <laughs> yeah, he? Yeah, it's my first day of picture. grade nine. I'm just like, what is happening Fuck here? Fuck that. That would turn me off of high school pretty quick. Did you ever find out why they... They just didn't like each other. They knew each other beforehand. Like, I know both of them because they, they both continued to go to the high school. You must be pretty angry getting into a fight in real life. The I've, same the same guy we were walking with that <laughs> oh gosh. the same guy we were walking with was in one of my gym classes in grade eleven. And we had like um it was like a, a class where you just worked out in as Power the lifting. gym class. Powerful. Power yeah. yeah. And um I didn't know if it, it was like specifically yeah. called that at my school. Well, but yeah, power fit. You don't know now. <laughs> 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 and so so some kid in our class who just always jokes around that he doesn't mean anything bad, took this kid's hat oh gosh. and ran to the bottom, like the gym. Then there's a balcony. So we we're in the balcony and he ran to the bottom and he was like waving the hat. He's like, no, you're not going to come get it. And this guy straight up runs, hops over the balcony, the balcony like railing, jumps down to the floor. This is like, maybe two like stories if you include <laughs> if you include the railing he just, just starts really he rolls and lands and everything no not he just landed on his feet <laughs> and i was like what and this guy just got nine lives. sheer look of terror he's like i did not expect that <laughs> he just like books it and just starts chasing after him fuck that have you guys That's ever been though. in a fight i've been in like, like thousands of fights like in like just sports but never actually been like i want to fight this person i was, I was gonna yeah, say same. so like from your story i have never hated someone enough that I was like, if I see them, I will like violently attack them. Not that I probably could because I'm skinny as fuck. But, <laughs> but like, even if I were able to, I don't think I could ever possibly get that mad. I've had a few people say that to me, Rob's friends. Who? <laughs> that they want to attack you? Yeah, two of them. That they want to beat you up? Yeah. My friends have said this? Yeah. <laughs> like, do I- the one guy that's married now. And the other friend who hates me. Oh, those that's nothing though. <laughs> <laughs> they like they literally said they're like, if we ever see him at like the bars or anything, like we're gonna beat the shit out just of him. Like, at, right. at the time they were both trying to do what you were doing and they were getting nowhere. So it just like jealousy boiled over. That's yeah, probably what that's happened. Fair. That's but, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. That, that, I remember up. that actually. Remember that we were all at Discord at like four AM one day. Remember that? And there's just a huge argument going on. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was just th- sitting there just being like, what the fuck? <laughs> man? I'm just trying to play fucking Overwatch. Yeah. And that's like got to choose who I'm playing with and everything. It was just like fuck that. I that's, hate that kind of politics. I had some I had like two dudes try and fight the group of friends I was with at the bar the last weekend. And Yikes. so oh. we were we were just we were, there was like four guys, uh like in my group. We were just standing there and these guys back into one of them. And the guy's like, hey, man, just like, watch out. He's like, classic. what, you want to oh fight? God. Bar's not big Literally, enough for both of us, like idiot. <laughs> the epitome of what you expect it to be. He's like, what, you want to fight? And he's like, no, I just don't want you to trip into me. Like, just mm-hmm. be careful. And he was just trying to fight. And then all my friends are like, all right, well, yeah, Fuck we'll it. fight. And I'm just like, no, guys, what? This <laughs> no, is please. stupid. All of Drew's friends are like six foot. Drew's like five foot two. He's like, no, please. <laughs> we we're all guys, the same please. height. But I'm like, guys. <laughs> You yeah. you tripped into if, him. If you got the numbers, who cares? Yeah, they, they all just grabbed you and just throw him first yeah. as like a projectile. That's what everyone in my friend group was saying. Like, no, this is the most pointless thing. Like, what? <laughs> you go that way, you tripped. We'll go this way. Yeah. Like, just Fuck chill. That. It's pointless. So unnecessary in action. Let's just drunk dudes being drunk dudes, pretty much. Mm-hmm. I guess. Guys yeah. are the worst. Guess Shane, do you have a story dude. from high school? No, I've only ever been in like one fight. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Actually, yeah, in high school. Yeah, it was I a didn't good, even know that. It was a good gym class like, from after the in the locker tusk. Oh, oh, yeah. Was it like a friendly fight? or No, like, no, it was oh. not friendly at all. It was like I left with like my face like all bloody. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, it was I, a good time. <laughs> I guess I've been in one kind of fight, but not really. It was just my friend. He was always shorter than me and he'd always pick on me. <laughs> That's yeah. really short. That's like what, yeah. four foot two? And two two Napoleons like, going at it. I never did anything because I, I, he was shorter than me. I'm like, I just felt bad. Yeah. And then one day it just boiled over. So I threw him through a door. And I'm like, stop. And it just never That's literally happened. what happened. I just roast this kid every single day. <laughs> <laughs> Except Shane's over. three feet taller. And like, I can't remember. We were playing like something like we were playing like hockey in, in like gym class. 
and like there's no contact and I just, just body burned my shoulder into this kid <laughs> and he flew into like one of the benches oh, and then gosh. just left the gym like just <laughs> and he was just waiting for it he was, he was plotting yeah fuck that but uh it was fine it was like the dude was just big mm. there's so, nothing more exhilarating to me <laughs> yeah than getting into a, a fight playing sports man i love it the, the adrenaline it get me it was yeah. the best thing ever is getting into a fight just like, oh like, especially <laughs> football man I, I would i would be such a little shit i'd be like I kind of locked up with someone, right? It's a normal football play. And then I would, I would take my hands and put them up into their face and they start <laughs> like, like clawing out their mouth and eyes just trying to piss them off. Just the Avery and of then they would just football. like, yeah. And then they would just like get so mad and just start like trying to punch me. I'm still wearing my helmet. And then nine times out of ten, we would just like headlock each other and end up on the ground rolling around. Mm-hmm. Rob's until just like the, the one. Until the coach comes like, all right. And no, like yeah. my coach once said, he's like, you would be a captain on this team, but you just play with your head out of your ass sometimes shit. yeah well rob's the one out there trying to gouge eyes in the middle of <laughs> yeah. the field well, and being well, like I, well I, it's I, a sport man like, i was playing <laughs> linebacker most of these guys are a lot bigger than me so you kind of have to even the playing field but you, you don't know. yeah you do yeah, you, you don't do. have to yeah, gouge you someone's you eyes out well, he's not gouging he's that was only little... one tactic i did like <laughs> i pinched like <laughs> sorry shane you were saying <laughs> well it's like at the bottom of a pile no one could see anything so like I, I, I would, so I'd, I'd stick be a flail- shiv in my waistband <laughs> i would be flailing around with my arms trying to grab on anything and then once i did i would start pinching and like squeezing and twisting <laughs> or like punching Rob. or like just trying to like unbuckle people's helmets and shit rob some subconsciously gave at least 10 hand jobs on the <laughs> football field he's like i just grabbed and started tugging you yeah, know literally do a dude like at the like people will get up in the uh, pile but who the fuck just pinched my leg or something and i'll just be sitting there like smiling at him and there was this one time when like they saw i was coming like there was this huge guy and he was coming to hit me and like there was not enough room for me to get out of the way in time so i just kind of like dropped to the ground and like he submarine over my back he gets up and literally grabs me like around the throat like this and this guy's probably like six three like 260 pounds in high school he has me around the throat like this, and I'm like flailing. It's, all, it's like straight out of Star Wars. Only thing I could do, bang, kick him in the nuts. And then like literally... Wouldn't he be wearing a cup? Like you don't wear a cup in football usually. No. I didn't. Well, like uh. how often... I mean, in hockey, you, you can to. get like pucks like, to the nuts and stuff. Some but. like some people, if you get hit a lot, maybe. But I never wore one. I I'm also too tough one. for it. Man, but, I, <laughs> honestly, that is so justified. If well, you're getting choked by dude, some dude, it was mm-hmm. to the point where I was like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, so no, I, was, I was like flailing. I was, Gave him a shot right in the nuts, but I still remember how it felt. I would pen him in the nuts. He, well, he dropped over. me and then just started to like, he landed on top of me and just started like kind of punching, like, you know, doing the classic like football fight thing. I hate football. And then, and then I, I didn't just, know I just was kind of gra- trying to grab again, trying to grab something to pinch to piss him <laughs> off. Didn't you, didn't you play rugby? Wasn't rugby bad? No, nobody fought really. Uh, Rugby's a lot cleaner than football. It, a, lot it was, more, a lot more it sportsmanship. Hits, but if you hit someone, there's, there's like, so many, okay. like, there was like a couple of really dirty schools. Well, there's also, there's no stoppages, right? So, like, if you hit someone, everyone's over top of you trying to get the ball back. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't really... You also have to think, of it. like, in football, people are wearing the pads and they're like, fuck it, like, just go as hard as you can. In rugby, like, if you try to whale someone, you're just going to hurt yourself as well. I saw one rugby fight in high school and it was when I was in grade nine because the Bantams would play with the grade 10 sometimes. Mm-hmm. And this guy, he was a hothead, though, and he got into a fight. And instead of punching, he just grabbed him by the collar and headbutted him. Oh. And knocked the guy unconscious. And then, actually, it's funny when you get like a when you get a major penalty in rugby, you have to go stand in the opposite team's en- or not end zone. And you stand by yourself. Yeah, and you just stand by yourself, <laughs> yeah. and your team's down a player. That's <laughs> he fun. was just like sitting there, like waiting for his penalty to end from headbutting a kid. Rugby mm-hmm. fight to be crazy because some of those guys are like Is grizzly it just bears. Like a five minute penalty though. Like, it's not even that long uh it depends you should get fucking I, fined for long. that not a five minute penalty yeah, get, well, that's, yeah, that's you assault can. brother you can get suspended yeah but still man <laughs> it's high what do you school mean, though <laughs> it's high school like there's not it's not like there's like video replay yeah you get it from a <laughs> distance <laughs> you don't need video replay <laughs> someone just grabs AT&T someone's head and butts the rest getting screen. paid pennies yeah. they're not getting paid for half most the time they're yeah, teachers man if i was a teacher i'd be like you're fucking like i don't know what power i would have but I don't yeah, know. I'd I, want them like suspended or pretty sure at you had least. to run laps for Wait, a long the foot, time. Like, they, were they paid for? I don't even know. Some of them they were so shit. Probably not. All but... the refs in volleyball were all paid. <laughs> Literally, um, at our school, really? all the refs were like volunteer students. Usually, what the fuck? I never. Like, this, I, I don't the, know about football, but was, like football. What do you call the people that do like in or out in volleyball? Uh, just lines line judges. Oh, maybe? I wasn't good enough to make the volleyball team in high school, so but all that. my friends were on the team, so I did that. So I could always leave class early and just go hang out with the volleyball team. <laughs> Jesus, actually, that reminds me, they must have been beginning paid because I had the same refs for 
school football and city football and same with hockey. I think so. I don't think it was yeah. much, but they got paid per yeah. game. For football, maybe. Just they get paid it's per game. For sure, organized. volleyball, they did because it was the same yeah. people. You'd hockey see them all the time. Hockey was the worst because the refs were usually like my age or younger. And it would just piss me off that like some little ki- like some kid is like giving me a penalty. That, in get, in that, house league, literally yeah. the the three siblings on your street were the referees. Yeah, <laughs> that reminds Wait, me. Wait, which ones? I don't know. They're they're older than us by like eight years. or oh, something. Oh, they start. With, I think I know who you're talking about. I don't know yeah, their last yeah, names. Yeah. Don't even yeah. bother. But, but. <laughs> so my friend used to be a ref for hockey, and one time he ref like I think he said it was just a house league game, and. The, he was making like normal calls, justified ones, and at the end of it, like when he was leaving, the parents were like booing him and oh, like yeah. throwing shit at him parents parents parents, and like man. threatening him. Because they're with... already they're already pissed off enough their kid didn't make any rep team, so mm-hmm. like they're already angry. I I don't understand, dude. That. I'm not even kidding, man. Like I only played through two years of hockey at a level other than house league, but house league was way more aggressive and physical than in a, the rep levels i played yeah, i'm not even kidding you're not allowed to hit so yeah. people will get angry and then they'll just do it anyway yeah and then it's a that shit show me. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it gets frustrating though especially when you've played contact hockey and you know that there's some kid lighting everyone up but you can't hit them because you you're playing house league yeah so every now and then you just kind of say fuck it and then just take like i'd rather take the penalty and just kind of you know what i mean kind of shake the them best up, is you could literally shake them up a bit i watched and then, many uh, of like friends games where you could literally just kill somebody like run yeah. them over and the rest is like yeah two minutes yeah, yeah two minutes well, you, it's hit, only, it's, you shouldn't hit so two minutes it's two minutes and you get a yeah. clean shot at someone no matter what exactly so <laughs> yeah. you just see rob like break a stick and then get the point in just start <laughs> stabbing no, it's, someone no it's the worst because when you're playing contact hockey that would have been a charge which is like some usually a bigger penalty but yeah. house league all i see is a hit two minutes two minutes yeah so let's go and clock someone and there you go hmm. it's the epitome of go big or go home yeah mm-hmm. literally so I'm, gonna get a I'm already getting for, a penalty yeah, yeah so i might as well take his head off for contact might as well just take someone's head off yeah I the worst fly- word of the tripping. Oh yeah, stick penalties are the worst. My uh, my stick would always find the way into the little gap in someone's oh, skate. Oh yeah, and just get stuck there. Yeah. So it's like there's no, you can't even do anything. And I'd, about I'd just it. try, yeah. you know, get my stick back. <laughs> <laughs> and they process yank their skates out from under them. Yeah. Christian's just sitting here like I can't relate to any of this, man. I played <laughs> soccer for a bit. Yikes! Oh, I was I was a yikes. solid defenseman. Never left the half. Well, I do have a story actually about that. About soccer? Yeah. So. How you could have gone I, pro, but you got an injury. I could have. I played soccer. <laughs> Back injury. Yeah. <laughs> Back I play, home. <laughs> I played soccer for probably five or six years. Every single year, I was always a defenseman. I never did anything but defense because I hated running around. So I would just always like sit in my end and just wait. And then if the ball came over, just fucking kick it out. Boot it. That's probably all you, toe, you probably toe punted. Don't lie. So that means That's a yes. in my entire career... Career. I never, <laughs> yeah, my soccer career. Decorated. I never had a chance to really score a goal, right? Because I'm defense. Except for one time, I've only ever scored one goal in soccer, and it was from half field, uh-huh. where like the goalie kicked it. I don't know what the term is, but he just kicked it, it's and like then it landed right next to me. So I just kicked it right back and went right <laughs> in the net. It's like the world's longest tennis volley, just on a soccer. And then field. But, literally the next thing was like you know like the, those nacho commercials or like where they're like oh why can't we have both yeah, yeah. It's just Christian being taken through the village. <laughs> yeah, that was, so that was basically like, my team was freaking out. Everyone's going crazy. I look over at the sidelines. My parents are gone. <laughs> my sister is there. She's like, yeah, you did it. And then my parents were like, oh, nothing ever happened. So we're just going to go for a walk. And they oh, missed my only goal ever. <laughs> that was like my, so I, I think pretty sure I talked about my lip before. But uh. my that was like the one game my dad came to. And um, I just remember looking over like halfway through the, well, I was trying to look behind me, but like seeing some dude just like running along the side. And I guess my dad was just so amped up that he was like running down the <laughs> sideline with me. That's amazing. <laughs> my, but yeah, that's like the only game that he came to too. So he was just, he got lucky. My dad stopped coming to my hockey after a while because he just said I stressed him out. Yeah, it's my but, mom. Yeah. Well, there's nothing better than like a like your parent coming to watch a game. Even and, if it was like once a year, you're like, well, now I got to do it. And then you disappoint them. You're like, oh, well, it's just for me. It was like, <laughs> I kept I kept getting penalties and shit. My dad's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, just play hockey. I'm yeah. like, dad, no one else on my team is going to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's because you're not supposed to. I yeah. always set my dad up. He's like, I can I can come on like 
the games were Tuesday, Thursday. He's like, I can come on Tuesday games. I'd set them up when we're playing teams that we would just dummy. Just destroy. And like, yeah, I look, because I'm, I'm playing mid. I'm, I'm looking like a hero. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, look at me, dad. <laughs> it is the best when you score. And like, you look and your mom and dad are just exactly. like, yeah. They're like, yeah, that's my game. Or, or it's like I'm sitting in the box and my dad just giving me the death stare from across <laughs> yeah. the ice. It's just like. Yeah. You go from scoring and like pointing at them to just in the box. not even like, looking at them. Oh, Especially no. when you're at like the certain, the rink close to, close to us. Because yeah, the yeah. penalty box on the side where the. Uh, uh, st- where the stands are and it's just like especially when your parents are right near there you're just like you know they're right there you just don't want to look at them yeah, just, like, Rob's like, parents come out with a sign skaters, yeah. that's just like I'm with dumbass and an arrow pointed at him <laughs> <laughs> like, wouldn't be surprised yeah I wouldn't doubt it that'd be a good sign yeah so what you guys are all talking about is the exact opposite of my entire sport career because whenever I was playing like my parents were just like alright nothing's happening okay. and then they'd always talk about like oh this one kid is so good <laughs> like he's the best on the team I'm just like yeah, yeah, yeah I get it I'm not yeah, gifted yeah but I bet, he, I bet it doesn't have a test though though that's the only thing yeah get wrecked yeah, yeah. that's true whoever you are kid you he suck lost. at soccer mm-hmm. you probably still suck and life and life mm-hmm. well it didn't help because the one like <laughs> one, one kid's like fuck man <laughs> well the one kid that they were always like oh he's so good was like a close family friend of ours so i had to see him all the time uh, and they no. was just like yeah he's like such a good soccer player i'm like he probably rolls up wearing a soccer shoes like family barbecues <laughs> and everything just to remind christian <laughs> the socks the cleats <laughs> yeah. one of those kids that never takes the soccer shit off yeah fuck. those kids are annoying but <laughs> I, had, I had one guy at my school that would just go everywhere kicking a soccer ball in the air yeah there's always like, people like that everywhere He'd go. He'd go Why? from his house to campus doing it. He'd walk to the gym doing it. He'd like have it beside him at the gym. Was he like a like high league soccer player? I think he's actually a YouTuber, but um, no. <laughs> you should plug. No, no, no. I don't no, think so. Should. I think he just like he just likes <laughs> he just likes soccer balls. He likes, he, likes, he likes having balls handy, bro. Do you know his YouTube channel? Now I want to find I out. used to. He's, he actually had like a decent following, like almost 100k last time I looked. Ooh, jeez. Yeah. Competition. You should, you should collab, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he plays video games. No, he's too what? busy being active and being outside. That's fair. What a loser! With his soccer ball, fucking no life. What a waste of time. So do you but he's like your biggest fan. <laughs> you guys both play hockey then? Yeah, yeah, for That's like it. nine years. With the baseball kid. True. Mm-hmm. My dad Christian. tried to coach me one year. <laughs> yeah, it was it was when we were Timbits. So it would just be all these little. I don't know. I guess for the Americans, Timbits is like our little leagues. Mm-hmm. for soccer and hockey and everything because yeah. it's run by tim hortons it's run by tim hortons and they sell timbits and they're small little donuts and we donut were small holes. little donuts no that's timbits. what they're called in the u.s oh well u.s is weird <laughs> and then um so, <laughs> so it was timbits hockey might have even been tyke and uh it was always just my dad coaching everyone else and me because he was my dad and i didn't have to listen i was just like skating on the other hash <laughs> mark <laughs> and he's like I and that's when he stopped. He's like, I'm never coaching you again. You're not playing hockey next year. <laughs> so I had to take a year off and then all my friends got into hockey. So I'm like, Dad, come on, like you don't have to coach me. I just want to play hockey. Get back after it. And then ever since then I played. Drew was the kid that's like the final cuts to the rep team are made and the, and the coach's kid makes it and everyone's like, Oh man, are you kidding? <laughs> no, I never played rep. It was just straight house. No, I was fucking around. But still. <laughs> I got that I got the connection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that pylon on, on the team that shouldn't be there. <laughs> I was trying to think of a way to segue just now Ooh. to talking about uh, Overwatch 2 of all things, but oh, I can't yeah, think perfect. of anything that can well, segue hold on. properly. Speaking of one pilot, we had this one kid <laughs> who... So Overwatch 2. He was, a, <laughs> no, he was a very nice guy, but he was no, no. very bad at skating. So he would literally just like spin in circles and we called him pilot pylon <laughs> and his Aww. dad would get so angry at the coach because he wouldn't get played on the penalty kill. And we're like, dude, your kid's going to get eaten alive. Yeah. If he plays, like... What's oh. a penalty kill? When you're it's down, like when, when someone yeah. when you take a penalty, so you're one person's in the box, so you're a man short on the ice. So it's like a five v four, and you're killing the time right. until the yeah. penalty's done. I, yeah. I, did you guys love like those? The, as a kid, you go to like the the arena to do laps, like just to skate around. Can't relate with your school, <laughs> but, but like with your school, <laughs> nope, can't relate. One or two kids would just like don't know how to stop, so they just yeah, be smashing yeah. off the oh, board yeah. to get up, skate as fast as they can, <laughs> smash up, take out the three parents, like, all the parents are pissed. They're just going skates. in a rectangle, hitting the boards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just shit. smash the shit of themselves, get out like oh jeez, <laughs> and then just go again. do it all over again. I was a kid just doing laps. I don't think my schools ever did that. I don't think we ever went to a hockey. My my elementary school had a hockey rink. They still do. They make a hockey rink every winter. Hmm. Outside. Mm -hmm. And we'd always go skating on it. 
And there was always that kid too that would like purposely weave through parents and kids super close to them. Like, Correct. look at me, man, I can skate. Look, I can figure skate. Well. Yeah, hundred percent true. We had yeah. like a like a swamp by our house that like would completely freeze over. A swamp, but like literally like a huge swamp, and it was like complete ice. So like there's trees everywhere, but there was like clear spots for hockey, and then we just skate all throughout. It was sick. That's nice. That is that's actually so. I just epic. imagine mm. they're playing hockey and then a fucking alligator. alligator just I was just, I was just saying, saying there's like an alligator's frozen no. mouth that coming through the top of it. My my goal with my parents' cottage is to get a side by side or atv to plow off the rink and then just flood it and make rinks in the winter huge that'd be dope i understood half the words of what you just said <laughs> what yeah, you'll, you'll win a side by side <laughs> yeah what's that it's like an atv but it's like a two-seater so you got a side by side and it has a 7.62 machine gun on top of it too. oh shit yeah, yeah it's like a go. warthog oh yeah. i know what that is you should have just said warthog <laughs> yeah a warthog with a snow plow oh i want to talk about master chief collection but we'll let rob talk about overwatch 2 first. Oh, i was just all i was really gonna say was like well i was gonna ask you guys your take scam it's scam. a scam but is 100%. there is there even such thing as a true sequel to a strictly online game like yes o- like Call overwatch yeah there's no plot well like overwatch there was no They're campaign now <laughs> like I, in my opinion well, you need a campaign to make you need, you need a plot or lore to build a I second guess. game there was like always... it should be free not yeah well it depends on what are they charging do they, they have it's announced. probably gonna be full price during blizzard but mm-hmm. um they said that you can still play the new stuff even if you have overwatch one you don't need to buy the new one you just have to grind for it i think i don't know if they've released full details like like a big I, like, thing. I like overwatch but i don't think i would spend 90 bucks on a brand new shiny dlc story mode even yeah. though it's not what? like it's just story what mode, if yeah. you got another paycheck though probably <laughs> <laughs> shit i don't know i just think how do you make a like, a, like overwatch was overwatch overwatch there was no story so you'd think this would be called the like, overwatch and then like the name of the story so, mode versus overwatch 2 because the, there was no lore or story or campaign to have a first isn't there one. always lore with all the different champs well like though? there's lore but like there's no like real storyline minus cinematics so i have two theories one Overwatch 2 is meant for next-gen consoles, and so they're like, instead of trying like to port Stadia. over the original one, they're just going to make a new one that would actually be optimized for it. Or, okay. my second theory is that after all that shit happened with Hong it's Kong, publicity. they were Hong like, Kong. they were going to release it as like a free thing, and they're like, or like just a update, and they're like, oh, let's just make Overwatch 2, because as soon as those leaks came out, all the Overwatch people were going crazy about it, and they yeah. completely mm-hmm. forgot about the whole debacle. So I feel like that might have been just like a publicity thing to try to smart. I only really it was follow. literally publicity. I think like yeah, the timing. I would is just, agree. I realized like they had their convention thing, but like the timing is too uncanny. Yeah. Well, to that point, I only follow two major Overwatch content creators, like Steagall and I honestly forget the name of the other guy. I think it's XCQ or XQC. XQC. Yeah. yeah either Legend. way, I hadn't heard from either of them in months, and then as soon as this happened, like they both were just tweeting and going crazy on their socials. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's part of like the hype train that they over Blizzard wanted. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I just how do you make a sequel to a game that was strictly PvP? It, well, like a lot of people are asking for a, like sequel for Siege because Siege is on an old engine that wasn't meant for FPS games. Like what it, engine it, was it on? It's on the Anvil engine, which is what they used to make Assassin's Creed. But wouldn't that just oh. be a different Rainbow Six Online game? Well, what they want is just basically a completely reworked one because uh, right now Siege is in a shitty spot because. They have a lot of ideas for operators they want to bring out, but the engine can't do it. Mm. And they can't change anything because they're stuck on the engine. So a lot of people are like, just make a new one. Like, but I mean, start from scratch. They wouldn't make it Rainbow Six Siege 2. They would make it like Rainbow Six Breach or something like that. <laughs> no, yeah, but yeah. Well, probably. They'd name it something different, but people just want Rainbow Six yeah, Siege yeah, 2. Yeah, but, like it, but in t- it, Rob, you'd probably have less problems with it if it was like, Overwatch, Underwatch, or something yeah, like. I would agree. But <laughs> Underwatch, too. I don't know. I don't play Overwatch. No, one hundred and ten percent. Like if they just said Overwatch, like that's the main different. Blizzard the main game. like fat like. Uh, it was like related, but not yeah, a sequel. Yeah, yeah. The main like faction you're fighting against in the Cinemax is called, I think, Blackwatch or something. <laughs> uh, so Overwatch, Blackwatch, whatever. So, but if, if they named it, like Overwatch, semicolon Blackwatch, then that would be, oh, so it's lore focused. It's like campaign. Mm-hmm. Overwatch two, mm-hmm. it just seems like. How they're gonna make a second Overwatch, and my brain just t- turns to mush. My it just seems like they it. didn't put a lot of thought into it. Yeah, well, like they figured yeah, exactly. Everyone under the age of seventeen who played Overwatch is gonna freak the fuck out seeing Overwatch like, two. Mom, 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 I need the credit card. But so, and th- no, they'll, they'll still make their money. Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, I guess my and third. they just announced Diablo four or something. Right, that's that's Blizzard two. Well, announced. 
What? Didn't they just announce like a third Diablo or something? Yeah, whatever no. they just announced. Like Diablo Blitz Immortals Connor. was like a mobile game. They just announced uh, something else. That's though. what everyone was pissed. But yeah, about. Diablo Four was this year, but they said it's not coming out anytime soon. Like they were. Oh. That's well, another thing that it. people are thinking that it's just a PR thing trying to get goodwill by just announcing it, even though it's not ready. Because they yeah, fu- they shot sense. themselves in the foot with that mobile game they announced. That what? That and also the whole Hong Kong thing. Them and McDonald's. But um, so I talked about this on stream, but my CEO other CEO just got. Fire. My other theory about oh, is yeah, what I saw that drew what you said. How like instead of naming it like Overwatch, Underwatch, or whatever, and they just named it <laughs> Overwatch Two. Mm-hmm. I think it's because they know that parents are gonna see it in store and be like, "Oh, my son always plays Overwatch. I need I'm gonna get him Overwatch one, yeah. Two. Yeah, and it's a really good way for them just to milk money from people who are completely uninformed. Yeah, what do you call that? It's materialism. There's a lot of people uninformed, though. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of kids who don't even, like, they don't read any of the stuff about it. They just see, oh, Overwatch 2, I want it. And it's going to have new heroes. I was never able to get the first one. Mm-hmm. Well, like I was saying earlier, the characters all look the, like, the exact same. Mm-hmm. The only difference is they took Ryan's helmet off. But other than that, it has the same character model. And they have, like, poor a few Ryan, new man. heroes that they're going to come out yeah. with. Yeah, poor Ryan. Poor Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I just don't think it makes sense. It doesn't. Mm-mm. Like... I don't know. What's another good example of that besides Overwatch and Siege? That wouldn't really play. Like, what's a Smite 2? Does that really make any sense? Yeah. No, that sense. wouldn't make any like sense. Like, League of Legends 2. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like, they can just... I guess Siege, if they want a new engine, that makes sense Call to make Call of Duty Modern one. Warfare 2. Yeah. Yeah, that would Been make no sense. <laughs> Call of Duty's sacred ground. We won't, we won't discuss it here. That is a good point, though. Like, so, when did they stop making campaigns for Call of Duty? Like, Black Ops Treyarch, 1? Or Treyarch what? makes... They don't uh, make campaigns anymore? Then they didn't make a campaign last year because they had Blackout with BR instead. But didn't, they, they, didn't that game kind of flop? If, like, I I have a skewed perspective on it because I played it almost every day while it was out. But, like, still. Like, and I, like, people I did talk to were guys who also played it. But the community was, like, it's shit. on the fence about it. And people like, like, Treyarch games, they're either love or hate. Modern Warfare is a game where it's, like, m- most people like it. There's mm-hmm. obviously strong criticism, but it doesn't have a polarized fan but base. But again, I think it. it was like everyone's going to play the game no matter what. But yeah. then everyone who's playing it was like, this game kind of sucks. Yeah. Well, it's, it's kind like, of upsetting, though. I like The first thing I would do with Call of Duty is play campaign. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I used they had to do. some sick campaigns. Like the most recent, I was talking about on the pod I think last week, the campaign for this COD, best one I've played yet. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, best one. Last year, there was no campaign. I was kind of bummed because Treyarch has had a pretty good storyline so far. Game one before that, I didn't get it. it was like Infinite Warfare. Everyone was sp- that Space COD didn't bother with it. <laughs> space yeah, no, COD, it was awful. yeah. And then the one before that was a trailer. That's game. actually the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, like that was that was when it came with Modern Warfare Remastered. Yeah, but the only Space COD that's allowed is that one map in Zombies from like Black Ops. Oh, 2. Moon. Yeah, yeah. Black Ops was Two sick. was a really good COD just because it had a campaign. It had as it had zombies and then it had multiplayer. Whenever they came mm-hmm. out with the bow and arrow too, that was fun in the campaign. All right, so what's, I, just, I looked over and saw bar graph. So. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm interested. So what's interesting is that Call of Duty has actually been selling less and less copies per year. I'm not surprised. There's way so more like, variety for so people now. The number one all time selling one was Modern Warfare Three. Which what? Is that doesn't surprise really? me. That doesn't surprise me at all. 30 million copies. They they hyped the shit out of that game. Though. I guess, and everyone really liked Modern Warfare 2, so yeah. they're probably like, this is going to be even Well, that's so my thought process mm-hmm. was Modern Warfare 2 was my favorite call at the time. Modern mm-hmm. Warfare 3 is going to be right Modern right Warfare there. 2 and 3 sold twice as many copies as Modern Warfare 1. Which yeah. I find surprising. Modern Warfare that. was the were the first one. Like, wait, which Modern Warfare? This year or the one from no, twenty like something? The actual Modern Warfare. Yeah, that one was Man, like... R700? That one was like the first, like... Modern. multi like mm-hmm. big cod that was like gra- had traction like the thing was cod three and four like three was the one that what's there what's so called wait, top sales are modern also, warfare three two one um i'd say black no, o- top sales are modern warfare three black ops one and black ops two and shane was right black ops four was their worst selling one besides infinite warfare yeah okay <laughs> infinite warfare was garbage as a, hu- as, a, as a COD fanboy, I was a little insulted that they put that out. I'm pretty sure it's the only one that we bought in recent history. I think right? it was, yeah. Yeah, we, we were really? on PS4 and we were, we're like, looking, oh, we were just looking for a game, yeah. So, so you got like, Infinite like, Warfare? Yeah, we got Infinite Warfare and we are like, this but, is fucking garbage. Yeah, we, 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 we put diff- like honestly under 10 hours in there. If only you guys had gotten a different COD, that one would have turned off so many people. Is I it imagine. the only COD that you guys have played? I think I played one of the early ones too. Well, I used really? to always just go to friends and play zombies. I played yeah, like true. so. I played from Modern Warfare One to Modern Warfare Three, and then I stopped because after that I was just See, like, during this is that time bullshit. frame of life, like all I, I played I was I think Halo. I did the same. I played both. That's yeah. the other thing. Yeah, Halo was my big game. COD I played was a lot of Halo my, Three. Mm-hmm. Oh, just like my friend group was like so into COD ever since like because that's all we did. We just go into private matches. 
yeah. at our buddies' places. Then as soon as we all got online and Xboxes, it was just game over. Mm-hmm. Like you get home from elementary school at like three, play till whenever your parents kick you off. Do it all over again in high school. I played a lot of Halo Three also. Yeah, Shotty yeah, Snipes was my favorite. Halo Three like split screen. I probably I probably spent a four or five days of my life sitting at a split screen playing Halo. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which brings you always mess around in like the editor and yeah. stuff. Yeah, map friends. creator doing the board races. Every Christmas, cool. my cousin would come over. We just mess with the creator. We download like fun maps to dick around. Yeah, on. Mm-hmm. so much fun. That reminds me of what I wanted to say is like so down. Master Chief Collection, I think, is supposed to come out this year. I'm, I'm getting myself hyped just thinking of it like that. And, one. like, obviously, I think we're all going to play it. I want to try to make content in On it. On PC, right? Yeah. yeah. I'd be down to try that. No, I'm going to buy us all Xboxes. And you then we're really? Fuck. Dude, <laughs> you, you, just, you can just buy us all Stadias. God damn it. I would, I would be using my controller on PC, though. Same. I'm inviting Peter instead. <laughs> Why? Oh wait, I, I wouldn't no. rob. I wouldn't you'll, do that. You'll, I've, 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 I've only ever played. Do that. I've only ever played Halo I mean, with a controller. You'll get spanked. I, I only. I've only ever, get spanked anyway. No, I've only won't. ever played with a controller. I don't want to play Halo with a mouse and keyboard. I feel like that would be really fuck weird for me. Just do it. No, I refuse. Halo is a controller game. Same with COD. I'll Actually, never do it. I the most fun. So I obviously like I played a bunch of COD on Xbox. Xbox 360. Never got anything else. But uh, I played, my, so I got my buddy to buy Modern Warfare 2 for PC when we lived in Res in second year, or not Res, but whatever. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun on PC. Are you playing mm-hmm. custom zombies and shit? Or just like playing no, the no, game? No, we played online Modern Warfare 2. Oh. Like I was sniping on PC. Quick scoping with the intervention. Man, the FAL is nuts on yeah. PC. You just like. All the guns in that game are so different. I miss that. But like Modern Warfare, man, one of my biggest complaints is every gun feels the exact same. In the new game? Doesn't really matter what See, you do. See, this use. is why I hate that they fucking renamed it Modern Warfare. Yeah, because I can't tell ex- what you're talking well, about. Well, like explaining to people who haven't played COD in a while, it's like, wait, didn't the game already come out? And it's like, no, it's the same name <laughs> with the exact same characters, exact same guns, but it's a different. But that, that's also what pisses me off, though, is because I know that they intentionally called it Modern Warfare just to sell more copies. Like it worked. Like I would have bought it either way, but like most, like my some of my friends only bought it because they thought, oh, I love like the you, yeah. know, the you know you know you know who Price is the guy with the hat yeah. on the front. Like he was a fan favorites people bought the game just because he's in the front of it pretty much so it's literally just i thought it was call of duty modern warfare is it, 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 just, it well, is call of duty okay. modern warfare but they also named cod 4 the exact same thing gotcha yeah. so i think they're capitalizing on the nostalgia too and the trailers emphasize like all the guns that you like loved in the past are mm-hmm. all back the mp5 the m4 m16 ak-47 i don't know it feels a lot like cod 4 and like ak-74 u that's only in the campaign i'm kind of pissed off about that oh, it's unfortunate but, DLC. That's, that's a lot really weird too because the campaign has so many weapons that are not in multiplayer r700 well no i heard that maybe like yeah bolt or action. like a some similar to it you get it for a special mission i heard that um I, I told you about this before cod came out that the, apparently they were putting a lot of the weapons behind loot boxes that you had to buy there's no loot boxes in this game they came out and said there's no not Yet. one shred of random rng being paid for I swear there was Yet. something that I talked about. Up. Activision came out and well, said there's No, I believe you, but I'm pretty sure... Dude, I... look it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, right now, look it up. I'm, I swear I messaged you about something. You did, just like, and I remember saying, like, they said there's no was. randomized weapon. Like, any gun you ca- is not RNG-related. Maybe like, people were now. saying... Maybe they're saying what you just said about those guns, like the ones that are in the campaign that they're going to yeah. come out later. They'll probably come out as DLC, because why would they be in the campaign as, mm-hmm. if they're not... They're just, in the game somewhere. Just to tease you. Yeah, but Black Ops 4 pissed me off because it had a lot of guns behind the randomized loot crates and guns that I really wanted because they were in, in older ones too. Like I didn't spend any money on Black Ops 4, but like if I told you how much money I spent on loot boxes between Black Ops 3, uh, what other one? Inf- Advanced Warfare, and what other one was it? I forget. Black Ops something. I, I don't know. Across three cards, I spent a shit ton of money on loot boxes. Suddenly, his bank account update makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I remember I, I for Christmas, I got 200 bucks one year. Oh, my God. Oh, no. All on loot boxes, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> How much would you guys say that you've probably spent on cosmetics for games? Or, like, just Literally, just adding? smite. What do we spend? Like, probably 100 bucks? I think. I, I think I've bought the bundle twice or three times. But oh, I, right. I only I ever buy one. So, like, 200 bucks, maybe. Well, we only ever buy it when it's on sale for like yeah. 50. So, oh, but like, I think I've done it three times. So, like, 150, 200 bucks, somewhere in that way. And that's back. a game we've played for like six or seven years. Aside from uh-huh. the God Pack, I've probably spent maybe 40 bucks on gems. Uh-huh. Yeah. And yeah. then 
Guild Wars in the 12 years, I think I spent 20 bucks. Yeah. And we're up to like 1,600 probably like hours, DLC. 1,700. Yeah. Somewhere in that range. Smite's probably my highest. Or actually, well, Siege, Siege obviously, probably, but yeah. that's business. So I don't really count that. I spent money on Fortnite. Oh, you're that guy who doesn't have fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Straight business. <laughs> the other game that I spent a shit ton of money on and I actually like spent all of my money on for a while was Habo Hotel. Oh, yeah. oh, right. I, I used to buy credits all the fucking yeah. time. Like I would go Offer to EB like Games. House phone? No, I would go to EB Games and they would sell like the cards and I would be like, I'd give them like $300 and just say, give me whatever this will get me. <laughs> oh, and I wasted all my money on that. I think I spent 50 bucks on GTA 5 online. He, he was remember how hard we grinded for everything on yeah. gta I remember this you, kid was the one that would roll up with everything just kill us i was the guy who would do all the glitches to get billions of dollars yeah, we were there, i had yeah. two billion dollars at one point and then i was loving it it was so much fun i logged on they left me with 50 grand even though yeah. in the past i'd bought like five mil what like a band i just, came I just yeah, stopped yeah. oh so, you, so pretty much they, they they put everyone at the same amount of money who who had been caught doing this but even though you weren't caught you just all of a sudden had a billion dollars yeah so they put you at one level and then they locked everything you bought with that glitched money so you couldn't even delete it it was always yeah. there oh that's or if I you did want to get, get rid of it you got nothing back yeah. for it that's a good way of doing it, but also... That was still one of the best days of my yeah. life. Me, Christian, and Niall are all playing, and we're in, like, a hacker's in the lobby. And we're like, oh, whatever. Like, just give us money. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Niall's head, there's, a, like, a, a <laughs> $20 billion bounty on Niall. And Christian's like, yo, don't shoot him. Like, we don't... Like, that's... that's We can get banned for this. I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shane pulls out the just, rocket launcher just kills him instantly. and then I'm, all of a sudden there's like 20 billion on my head and Christian's like dude like we can get banned now <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't even finish my sentence before Shane before killed him. Him. <laughs> I was like alright and then someone put like a negative like 1 billion on someone and Christian gets that guy but no in the end we had all this money and like Christian I know you didn't spend as much no I, I like, bought I like I bought one car I was like I'm not gonna risk I it I didn't yeah. Niall spent like a billion on the <laughs> <laughs> I went like penthouse, chrome Bugatti, <laughs> jacked up Bronco for the or uh, the winter. You know how they had all the elves and snow. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna get a lifted truck and drift around. I remember I had a Mini Cooper in that game. I don't know why. My favorite thing that we got was the uh, the mopeds with like the thousand window yeah, or mirrors yeah, yeah. and the thousand lights. <laughs> and on we'd the roll back. around with like I'd have the truck horn, <laughs> so like roll up to someone they're looking at you and just <laughs> burr, just a moped with mirrors. <laughs> I also love that we all have or. I guess you guys kind of bro- branched off of it, but for a while, all of our cars were orange and black for, for Zares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I remember you guys would be at Zares, like planning to like go home and do something, and I was like, "Oh man!" Because we were because the, we worked on those heists for a long. Oh, time. Oh yeah, we grinded, and I'll never forget that one time where it was the final heist. You guys have done it, right? Like in the campaign yeah. mission? Yeah. No, no, no. The like the multiplayer heist. The only oh. one I did was when you got that black sports car. I I no, stopped no. Uh, I stopped playing before a lot of that because they took away all my money. <laughs> it took us <laughs> your hard earned money. It took us hours yeah. to but, do the okay. final heist. So the final heist is like you go into a bank, you rob it, and then they pull the alarm. And then when you go outside, all the cops are there, and you have to like run down a street, get on some bikes, and mm-hmm. you hit the bike all the way up to the mountain, and then you have to parachute off onto a boat and then drive the boat away. So we were trying to do it on the hardest difficulty. We were, I'm pretty sure we were up for like four or five hours straight. It was like two or three a.m. And then we finally fucking get it, and we got it with (laughs) as much money as you can. Because if you get shot or hit, you you drop money because it's in a bag. Oh no! So like, um, you have to do it as perfectly as you can. For we we nailed it for a bit. There was like, I was the driver. I think Shane was another driver because we knew the route. We knew how to do it perfectly. We finally get it, and then as we're driving off into the sunset with our boat. I fucking spin a little bit and I catch the land, like the oh, beach, gosh. and the boat just gets beached. And we're like, the money's everywhere. No, the money <laughs> the, was fine, but we're like, beached. yeah, we're like, what do we do? And then we tried to push it in, we couldn't get the boat in, and then all of a sudden it just catches on fire. <laughs> and we're like, oh no! And then your getaway vehicle was destroyed. Restart. Yeah, oh, and we God. lost all so, progress. So the issue is, is, like when you leave the bank, there's cops. You're just getting shot up. So yeah. we had it down to a science, like okay, these people take this person, like. Every single person had like assigned guards to kill all the way through that section <laughs> to the bikes because we could get we could get that part done in like five ten minutes without losing anything. You guys could probably rob a bank in real life after exactly. All that. And then yeah. the bike part we could do again. We memorized the route so mm-hmm. we could nail it every single time. The issue was 
we'd hit this fucking thing at the end where you have to jump off and just parachute to a boat. <laughs> and like the amount of times that a, like it's like me and Niall in a car and we, ju- I jumped the car off. I'm parachuting down. I look back and Niall's just like, in the back seat of the car. <laughs> or B like you jump out and your body, like your body flails. And then you pull the chute and you're facing the cliff face. Boom. <laughs> so we just- lost probably like, three hours worth of time just Gosh, because damn. we get to the very last jump nothing left to stop and just get trolled, and get trolled <laughs> by because i jump out of the car looking the wrong way so do you guys well, ever finish it comp- yeah, yeah, yeah we eventually start doing it like but we like, grinded it out we more couldn't, we, it took us like maybe like there was like a four or five hour session we couldn't do it we came back a couple of days later and it took us another couple hours yeah, this is okay. making me decently hyped for red dead i'm so pumped man it's gonna mm-hmm. be great oh yeah we were talking about that today um me and rob will probably join you guys but i'm probably not going to join till december How's Rob gonna join? I'll buy him a He's copy. Buy Let's it. go. Do do it now so he can download it and we can play Wednesday. Yeah. Well, I'll do I, whatever. I probably won't join. <laughs> in- <laughs> Get it now. <laughs> well, I was just gonna say I probably won't join until December your time, just because, Christian. which is fair. Because I come back from Japan in a week, which is like mid-November, and then uh, TTS is gonna go live, and then new season comes out probably December, like first week mm-hmm. of December. I won't be too far ahead of you anyway, because he's CFA. And like, yeah, you're gonna and, fail. I, and I'm gone for a week of holidays, but I'm gonna yeah. grind yeah, so and I'm, much. And I've got so much shit to do between now. And <laughs> but actually, get it, if if we're getting it, get it now because like it's like the, I told Drew to get it today too because the download's like 110 gigs, so that'll take you a week. With to my do. internet, two weeks probably. Well, I was thinking about just waiting for Steam, I get but to clear off some. Space the only too. other option is the uh, Rockstar Store, right? Yeah, Rockstar and the, they have that deal still. So if you get it now, you you upgrade free to deluxe. They still doesn't have mean it? that much, but yeah, yeah. I, I just checked have to, it this morning. I have to decide what's more important, my principles or playing with you guys. <laughs> you can still play with us, can't you? On, on Steam, but like I'm saying, if I want to play early, I have to buy it from the Rockstar oh, store. And like, why? What's, what's, what's wrong with the Rockstar? Can you just like carry it over? They wouldn't no. Make you buy it. No, really? No, you can't. See, but the th- so the issue is that Epic paid Rockstar to put the game on their store early I'm okay and like with exclusively that. on Epic Store for a month early, as well as Rockstar Store. So I'm like, do I want to support that? Because I hate Epic and all the shit that they do for that. I'm okay so. with that. Like if they paid, and I know Rockstar already hates Steam, so like, hey, whatever. It's the the match made in heaven. Epic <laughs> being Fortnite, right? Yeah. Yeah. And back fuck it, it's just a game. It's only like like your 110 dollars won't change. And again, the key so, thing, at least yeah, for no, me, is like yeah. Epic. Yeah. Epic paid. It's like for people in sports, like paying for the name rights to the stadium. Like I don't want to fucking call it Scotiabank Arena, but. I still call it the ACC. I still call exactly. it the ACC. Yeah. But like I do. Skydome. Um, I still call it Skydome. It hasn't been that since I was a kid. Yeah. Correct. But like the same examples. Like I don't care. They paid money. It's yours. I don't care. Well, for this, it's not too bad because Epic's only paying for a month and it's also on the Rockstar launcher. So I don't really support Epic by doing that. But like mm-hmm. when Epic pays for it to only be on their store Fair. and they like, you cannot put this on any other store except for ours. That's when I'm like, fuck no. Mm-hmm. I'm not supporting that at all. What's the thought process? Like you have to use their store and you might buy something else while you're on they know it. people yeah. really want mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So they're going to go there and then like, oh, hey, look at this. Then and they'll caused, see their ad for another game and they'll mm-hmm. buy that. It's caused a huge uproar with like people on reddit basically the See, I don't, people again i don't mind it i, I think it is what it is. i think reddit is just a hive mind people like to hate shit sure it, it is yeah, it but is. it's also valid. again i can see why people would bother it but like if one person on reddit says this is stupid man there's gonna be thousands of people who are just gonna but this, follow again, this makes sense but again they, they paid yeah like they pay it was a business deal it's like mm-hmm. anything else it's, yeah it's a little anything nowadays it's a little scummy but like it's either that or you just don't play it right it's like, I'd say it's annoying that you can't then have everything in one place, but so, well, just, so basically what you said is what I do. If it's on Epic Store, I just don't buy it. Yeah, well, like just, I'll, I'll never. Like it buy takes it. a lot for me to not want to buy something from someone, but like I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, I actually I'm pulling a blank. I would probably there's no company that I'd think strongly against to not buy That's the fair product. Me either. Yeah, I really. Even yeah. Blizzard. Oh. If they came out with a new cool. They came out with the Red Dead Three. I'd buy it on the spot. Yeah. Drew, what you don't realize is that the CEO of Blizzard could <laughs> literally have Rob's parents tied up yeah. on the couch, have a gun to both of their heads, and say, I'm going to blow both their brains out. Rob would be crying. Then he'd say, by the way, Overwatch 3 just got announced. And Rob would completely forget about <laughs> his parents and just go play the game in the other room. Hey, he'd gunshots in the background. He'd be like, doesn't they would, matter. I got Overwatch 3. Part of the game. <laughs> they'd roll a computer in front of me. I'd just be like, oh, what's this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shiny. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, did you guys hear about... Uh, so, like, BlizzCon McDonald's? happened. And obviously, like, all the people McDonald's. were trying to... 
protest because of the whole Hong Kong thing. Did mm-hmm. you guys hear about the statement that Blizzard released? No. no. It was like, we're going to kill protesters. That's what they said. <laughs> it, <laughs> I didn't get to listen to it all because it's like a bun- or big speech. But the basic summary is that they, they didn't actually apologize for what they did. They were just like, yeah, we take responsibility, but mm-hmm. like we're they're not, not sorry, sorry for what they did. Like, well, if they yeah, say we sorry, did that. then all of a sudden... Every, uh, China's like what mm-hmm. did you just say? The how- only thing that they've like come out to say is, you know how I told you guys about how that like China Blizzard account tweeted saying like we would never yeah. do anything to ruin the pride of China. Apparently that wasn't them. Like that is run by a Chinese company that has full control over that. Mm-hmm. And they were like we wouldn't have approved that well, message. Well, like the majority of big company social media accounts are run by firms that run social media accounts. Yeah. Like most sporting like I didn't know this, but most sports like twitter accounts like you see doing all these funny tweets right it's an agency that comes in and just takes over your social media mm-hmm. which like so who, who'd you think in it do you think like, the they players were, they were, were there just, i thought they just chose like some intern and were I like thought, hey you know, you know how to use I twitter uh. wendy herself ran that account <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they dug up wendy's carcass and just yeah. what about our boy down south who's that what does that mean yeah. trump oh, oh. I think he just, I think he he just pulls his phone out and <laughs> says whatever the fuck he wants to yeah, yeah. it's a farm man <laughs> No firm call, would be that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's pretty jokes, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they do that for a lot of companies. Like Tesla recently hired. Um, that's, that would be a cool job, I think. They, they hired someone who was like known on Twitter as like a really good social media Elon person. Musk? <laughs> like he worked at another company doing it and they just like hired him. And now he makes all these really funny tweets for Tesla and people love it. Rob, his name's Trelon Musk now. Get Trelon right. Musk, yeah. Are you going to donate to the tree cause? I haven't yet. We should do either. a stream for it and see what happens. Just go plant a tree. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> do a stream and just be like, hey, I'm just be like, hey, Elon Musk is on my live stream with me today talking about this. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll just hop on. And I'll, <laughs> I'll, of, and I'll find some sort of way to... Can you do a voice. South African accent? Do it. Do a stream. Where I don't even, I've never even heard him speak, to be honest. It's British. <laughs> I don't. I still, I need something to work with first. I need to hear it. I'll do that next week. How's All right, that? Yeah, study. Yeah. Just do do a stream of like Christian just running through like the park with a chainsaw chopping the trees down. <laughs> was gonna, sick. Fuck the world. Fuck nature. Aww. I was gonna say there is no next week because uh, I'm gone. Oh, I thought what are we recording tomorrow? Then we're gonna do next so, week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's tomorrow, but so we're recording the podcast early because since I'm gonna be in Japan, I can't really. Does that here. technically mean Christian misses the first podcast? No, no I missed one. Last week you dumb fuck. I know, but but between their bet. <laughs> no, I told. Oh. Well, so we were talking about this. Technically, he's making up for it, but he's missing the podcast on Monday. Yeah, I'm I'm av- ready and available. Oh shucks, he's paying. No, he's already paid. If if Rob can't come tomorrow, he's no. technically not missing the scheduled so, no, that's podcast. That's what me and Rob talked about. I'm busy tomorrow. I can't make it, bro. I well, got that's what me and Rob talked about. I said, and I I told him <laughs> right up. I was like, hey, we get, we're gonna record the podcast early on Tuesday. But if you can't make it, that's fine because I know this is not a normal you're schedule. He's trying to bait me into it. But if he's, I trying to, he's trying to bait you into it. But if I can't make it, he's he got just his fingers talks crossed behind his back. He's doing the math. All right, we've done. The worst he, part is that I could have actually made it because if I had just stayed for the normal event, I would have left on Monday and come back on Monday because of how the time yeah, zones work. That's a and disaster. then I would have been like, <laughs> like I would have been here at like six o'clock, like, like completely <laughs> dead. Trying to do a podcast after getting off the plane. staying an extra night to look at cherry blossoms. And I'm staying for a whole week. <sighs> oh, so pleasant. I'm what staying, are you going to do? Just chill? Um, so a bunch of the other content creators are like, we're all going to Tokyo. We're all getting hotel rooms and we're just going to like, sometimes we're going to go sightseeing. Sometimes we're going to go. Oh, I, I, want, I want you to That's give me sick. one That's thing. a good idea. What? Yeah. Give us one. Dude, yeah, you, said, yeah. you said you're staying at a hotel. Everyone you have to get us that. souvenirs. I, I want a, my souvenir, but it has to be out of a vending machine. I'll get the panties one. They used panties. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Mine Wait, does not have to be out of a vending machine. <laughs> well, I, I already have like three souvenirs that I've been tasked with getting. So. Just. Well, okay, that's, yeah. Whatever there money, whatever money we're gonna spend a souvenir, just give me it right now. As Katie. <laughs> <laughs> hands up like a yen. <laughs> Here is a Rainbow Six souvenir coin. <laughs> is it actually? Yeah. What's well, heavy? No, oh, I, I much prefer a, 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 a normal souvenir. Well, what do you want, Drew? I don't know. If you oh, if you find something. Like... <laughs> oh, like the, the cat, cat way. Yeah. <laughs> that if would you be find cool. something cool in Japan that screams Drew, just bring it back for me. Can you bring me back a child? <laughs> <laughs> Rob can barely like, afford to feed himself. He a child on the street that's just like, true. <laughs> can you though? <laughs> no. 
All right. We'll see. Well, I thought I'd ask. I, we'll I, don't, see? I don't know. Okay. We actually have absolutely zero plans for what we're going to go see. Like, I think the only thing we've maybe mentioned is going to see Mount Fuji. Yeah, That's man. Sick. Live it up while you're out there. How often are you going to go to Japan? Uh, yeah, often, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Dude. know. Dude. We're talking, told, we're talking to Christians, no, actually, man. It's Chris not from the average person, gaming, my bro. Bad. Well, what I told Annie was that <laughs> we haven't had a vacation for... <laughs> me and Annie haven't had a vacation for a year. And like I think she wanted to go on this trip, but she can't. So then I was just like, oh, like in the future, we could maybe go. We're thinking of going to Hawaii or All Europe, right. but like Japan would be an option. If I really like the trip, I wouldn't mind going. Well, if you're going to go back with Annie anyway, she doesn't need a souvenir. You can put her money towards mine. Yeah, or mm-hmm. just give me that money also. <laughs> <laughs> Another coin. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. So. There's a loony over there. Pick it yeah. up. I did notice this before. <laughs> you can take it. I'm never going to uh, use that. I also Rob, noticed these. <laughs> Rob's eyeing up loonies now. <laughs> and business cards. Yeah, please don't take my business credit card. I would never do such it's a thing. It's okay, man. You can lock it on our app. <laughs> oh my god thanks Drew. all right we should probably wrap up the podcast yeah let's there. go climbing shut her down boy dallas cowboys versus new york giants leafs versus what? i don't know who they played yeah, tomorrow that's on right now yep oh uh, i'm going to enjoy it well i was gonna say um we'll be back in two weeks for the live stream people will be listening on spotify oh, soundcloud or like for the for this podcast, like for this, oh, just gotcha, for this. Like, oh, what? <laughs> no, for the podcast last stream, we'll be back in two weeks. For everyone else, they're not even gonna fucking notice that I'm gone. But we're gonna record yeah, the next episode very, the day after. Sad. Or are we so? So if, yeah. if people notice a lot of the <laughs> same it's, topics, it'd be the being best brought week up, of my life. That's why. Because it's just because it's fresh in our heads. Yeah, it's back to back. You really think so? Like we're we're like, probably gonna have some completely like different topics. Half of us here are scatterbrained, and the other one doesn't have a brain. And <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys figure that half one out. Half of us so. here, and the other one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it checks out. <laughs> but good way to end it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>